Okay, so this is uh, just a quick way of uh, looking at uh, one of the key questions that you can put into a Google form, which is a Google Grid, um, just a way of analysing it. Uh, I've just set up a quick uh, Google form here with a grid style question. Um, simple, uh, which is the best country to live? So those selection of, uh, not countries, but just areas. Uh, and then a grading, one to four. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes out of the spreadsheet, they do, do come out as individual uh, lines. Anyway, I'm just doing a little bit of analysis. So I'll just uh, flick to the next stage. Okay, so this is the resulting uh, information from that uh, questionnaire um, with that grid question. So as you can see, we've got a range of responses here and then uh, key questions there. They were rated one good up to four, no way. Um, now what we can do, if we just put in here, just as a um, an index, we can put one, two, three, four, that gives us the one good up to four no way. Now what we're looking for in here is um, an analysis of this data just to count up how many are how many ones there are, how many twos there are, etc. etc. So what we can use is we can use a count if. So equals uh, count if <coughs> just click on that. We're going to put the range now, so just grab that range. Now what we're also going to do is we're also going to make it so that um, it stays within that range, so I'm just going to use a, an absolute cell reference. So that's a shift and a um, dollar sign, then comma, and then we're going to click on this one here, which is it's looking for ones. Now we want to keep that in the same range, so shift and a um, dollar sign, and then just close the brackets, so close the parenthesis. Okay, so <coughs> it's now done a little count for us in that line. <coughs> it's counted uh, the number of ones in it, so we've got three. Okay, what we can do, we can also drag that down. So that gives us the uh, number of twos, number of threes, number of fours, dead easy. We can also drag that across. Okay, and then drag it down. And that starts to give us just a bit of analysis there. If we want to do a particular quick snapshot from any of it, what we can do is we can just highlight these. In fact, we'll just highlight those together. Uh, insert chart. Uh, probably easiest with a uh, pie chart. Let's grab a pie chart with some percentages on it. There we go. Nice and easy. If we want to, we can just uh, grab some of that out. No problem. Anyway, so that's just a, a quick little sample of what we can do. It should be relatively straightforward if we're doing it for the whole group. Um, there are other ways to do it, but that's just a, a simple little way. Okay, hope that helps.